Hey guys, what is going on today? We're here for episode number three of the Valencia Save Your Sight Design. Please make sure to subscribe, turn those notification bells on, and let's get straight into this. Very big video today. It's first versus second. It's going to be a big one. So we start off with the first chance of the game. Guedes passes it into Maxi Gomez. So great hold up play, and then it releases Carlos Sola, who in turn releases Martinez. And as you can see there, it's a great goal. And I said Martin Martins. Um, my bad there. But yeah, we're doing really well. Um, obviously, this is a massive game for us because obviously if we win, we go top. And I think I didn't really expect to kind of be in this position at the start of the season. But obviously we're there. And it'd be an amazing achievement if we could get something like that. So let's go into the second half now. We're starting to make some changes. Gomez coming off for Sapria. Just wanted a bit more firepower up front. And as well, I kind of wanted someone with a bit more pace um, who could unlock that defence. I also took De La Cruz down to a centre mid position and brought Kangan Leon. Again, a bit more of an attacking substitution. And I'm just going to let this play out because you'll see in a second the difference this substitution makes. So Sillison sends it out to Hermoso. Goes into Daniel Vass. You know, messing around with it at the back a little bit. And then we get into midfield and then we immediately see in a second. So Sola unlocked. Pass it into Kangan Lee and then Sapria gets away from the defenders. Got that pace just to burn through, and as you can see, we make it 2 0 after 65 minutes. A really, really well worked goal, and we're seeing this uh, Ukrainian talent become more and more integral to the Valencia system that we are playing. Um, and so I kind of think next season we might see this guy as a first team player potentially. He's really, really good. I'm, I'm really enjoying him. He's tall, he's fast, he's, he's just everything you really want in a striker. Um, so make it 2-0. Obviously, this would, I believe, uh, I believe it as well, at least, it sent us top of the table. So, I'll let go Madrid come forward with it. But as we all see, you know, a bit of spoilers, it's not an attack. It, I mean, it is an attack for Atletico Madrid. But we, in in a second, will get it, I believe, in the transition. I think it's Per Schurz that intercept it there. And then Vass sends it out. Sola. Vance pass. And again there. Kangan Lee's there. Um, to release it. Sapria. I thought this was offside. But it goes 1-1. One one and he makes it 3-0. Soon after. And that pretty much summed up our performance in the second half. We just were soaking up all the... Everything that Atletico Madrid were throwing at us. And we just kept hitting them on the counter-attack. And it's... I think this is probably one of the best counter-attacking teams that I've kind of made in the system. As you can see there, the clock winds down, nothing much happened. Here with uh, Supriya, I was trying to work a chance to get him potentially his hat-trick, but we couldn't. It was a very physical Atletico Madrid team in which that we had to rely quite heavily on counter-attack football. And obviously in the first half, we had to had that amazing goal, uh, team goal that involved the majority of the attackers. But there we see there, we do get the win. And it's a very important one going into the second half of the season. So... For the second half of the season, you will be seeing us potentially, I'm going to go with a, just after January. I don't see myself doing too much business in January. Might do some pre-contracts, but I'll break that down in the next one. But I think until the next time, I will catch you guys all on the flip side. Peace.